In today's video, I'm gonna share with you five Chanel handbags that I won't purchase again. Those five handbags, some of them still with me and some of them I already sold. So in today's video, let's dive into it. I will start with the one that I already sold. The first one is a Chanel boy bag. When Chanel boy bag first came out, my first sign of this bag is I don't like this bag. This bag doesn't look very classic. This bag is so bulky, all negative thoughts. However, when more and more people buy them and more and more people do the unboxing on social media, it just start to grow on me and up I purchased it the small boy bag. Unfortunately, the bag I purchased had the quality issues on their leather. After a few months, a lot of white spot around the corners. So I went to the Chanel and talked to my SA. So they decided to send it to the Paris to repair. When they sent it back, they actually damaged the leather so bad. So they agreed to refund to me. So I thought uh, maybe this bag is really not for me but after a few months later my SA called me again and they have the new stock and it's a new season the leather I have is much much shiny than the previous one so I purchased it but this time I purchased the new media which this is another mistake I made it if I have the old medium which is a small size I probably still keep that because when I wear the small size I don't really have a lot of issues with the strap but for some reason when I wear the new medium which right now they call medium size I have so many trouble with the strap especially when you're walking you have to stop and adjust the strap it really annoys me I also noticed that the boy bag four corner is too edgy and that's why it's very easy to show in the wear and the tears you need to be very very careful for especially for the lambskin leather I think the caviar leather still holds uh, very well I watched so many videos about the lambskin of the boy bag they showed a lot of wear and tear on the four corners I think because the style is a very edgy and when you wear it you keep rubbing on your clothes no matter how careful you are it will show a lot of wears so I also realized the problem of or potential problem that's why I let this bag go and I will never purchase again moving on to the next one is the Chanel reissue 227 I love the style it is very understated but it is a very classic bag I highly recommend it if you are looking for the Chanel classic and the understay bag this is the one you can consider however the size so the one I bought it is a 227 which is a jumbo size I use them as an everyday bag the reason I sold this bag because the turn lock the turn lock is a very troublesome it's not easy to close at all this is the biggest problem my strategy is any bag that give me problem that I feel uncomfortable to use I will let it go so this is the one that let me feel very uncomfortable and also give me a lot of trouble so I decided to let it go however Chanel reissue and the mini size doesn't have that much problem for me because I think it's a very small I feel it's so much easy to close I never have any issues when I use the mini so that's also the reason that I add another mini this year and if you are looking for the Chanel classic bag with a good price I highly highly recommend it to consider the Chanel reissue in the mini size even though they just increase the price right now is $4,900 but I think it's still in the good price range compared with the others so this was my second bag that I think I will never purchase again moving on to the 
third bag that I won't purchase again and it was my wallet on the chain now the wallet on the chain actually was my fourth Chanel bag when I start to Chanel collection the reason I purchased it because also I thought that the price tag is pretty nice because at that time many years ago I believe it was 2016 the, the price is still considered as a good price I thought that this will be good however when I used that it just gave me very frustrated feeling because I usually carry a lot of stuff in my bag and no matter whether this is wallet on the chain or this is a regular bag I like to carry my little wallet like a mini wallet but this wallet on the chain once you put it the wallet once you put it the cell phone you don't have much room at all I struggled a lot to try to put everything into the bag and it looks like I stretch the bag really bad so I know this bag is really not for me very lucky that my SA let me return let me change it to the Chanel mini rectangular which is the red one I think that was the good decision for me because I know I'm kind of person like I will feel very frustrated if I can fit this or that into the bag and then I just hate it so that's the reason I won't purchase the water on the chain no matter how beautiful they are the other thing really bothers me is the chain Chanel water on the chain has a very long chain so even though there's many ways you can use you can use it as a crossbody or you can use the chain to turn around and make it shorter but it's just not from originally uh, the way you can wear I don't like this type of the thing to do it because eventually I'm going to damage the leather so I won't recommend it to do turn around a couple times on the chain to your bag if you really like a wallet on the chain I highly recommend it to looking for a seasonal wallet on the chain which is sometimes uh, they can let you adjust like a Chanel 23S they also have the wallet on the chain with an adjustable chain which they use the sweet camellia you can adjust the chain uh, shorter and longer that one I will highly recommend it those are the three bags already left from my collection there are two bags I'm still holding it the first one if you follow me you know which one I'm going to talk about this is the huge and a heavy Chanel classic flap in the jumbo size now this bag I purchased many years ago and the I only use it one time and I don't want to use it anymore because it, it's very very heavy now it's still heavy without putting anything so you can imagine if I carry a lot of the stuff wallet key holder a car holder and the cell phone it's gonna be like so so heavy it's gonna hurt my shoulder so bad so this is the one I want buy anymore if I can go back I will definitely not buy this bag if you want me to recommend it which size to go I will highly recommend it go to the small size or medium or large never buy the jumbo jumbo is just not very practical bag the bag is way too heavy for everyday use so moving on to the last one this is the one I talked about it I do love it but if you ask me whether I will buy again I will say no I won't even though sometimes I still recommend you guys to buy it that is the Chanel Coco handle I think for the Chanel Coco handle really one is enough and you do need to buy the multiple one with a different color first of all this bag the the strap is pretty short you can wear as a shoulder bag but no matter what this bag I think handhold is the best way to use because the handhold it will give you so classic and elegant look I notice myself it's really things to do with myself not for bag I like the bag is like no divided compartment like this one also have a divider I kind of don't like this style of the bag and I have a lot of bag that has this kind of style I already let them go I just don't feel very comfortable to use I think one is okay but don't buy the multiples 
uh, in the different color that's the reason I saw my black one and just keep one in my collection I think one is a good enough and I won't purchase any more for Coco handle the other thing that I say why the reason I don't want to buy because the four corners will have a lot of wear no matter what type of the leather the one I have is a caviar leather I haven't used this bag yet but I do see there's corner wear here and I don't know this wear is come from the boutique or come from myself I don't even know but no matter what those four corners will show the wears very quick because I had a one in the black one which I only used a few times not handful times but when I tried to sell I saw all four corners had wears and I don't even know where those come from because I only wear I think only twice and I did a couple of videos uh, Coco Handle has a lot of issues since they changed to the new version interior become the leather it's kind of like you gotta be very careful when you buying the Chanel Coco Handle so those are the five bags that I won't purchase anymore I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in the next video thanks bye bye